Hey guys, quickly again with a quick and dirty update on the wireless ROM which I have been using as my daily driver for quite some time and I have seen a little bit more of an update from the previous version I have done. So quick disclaimer, all the previous stuff which I have talked about the wireless ROM is still standing, it is still true and you can go and watch the full video in the description below so that you are more informed. But I wanted to make this video to just let you guys know why I think this is good enough to be my daily driver now depending on who you are it may or may not be of any significance if this is my daily driver or not but i do think that this one is much better than the last version which have been released because of just three things so i just want to get it out of the way just for this one now first thing vlt icon and i love it i live in a place where the vlt signal is quite sketchy so it is nice to have at a quick glance if the vlt signal is available so that i can make a call and not be a douchebag so that is really cool next one is themes it has inbuilt theme support which is three of them there is you have valdez dog which is a blue and black theme with a little bit more of flair so you have that also go retro is available which is a black and red theme so that is also available works out really well uh, for those who want uh, a little bit more theming option that works out really well you do have animation option which i'm not really so good about but it is something there which you can customize and that does work out really well another one which is um, which i am really stoked about is the hardware key customization and that is finally available in oreo and this is the main reason this rom is right now my daily driver just because i have double tap to sleep on the home button and that works out really well as you have already probably noticed it's not the best implementation it is kind of like the implementation which was available with lineage os quite some time back when the home button does not pick up uh, the input quickly but it will it will keep pick up the input but it's not as consistent but still i'm willing to run with that because i have been missing this i really like that now these are the things which have uh, made me use this as my daily driver there are a few other things which have been uh, changed uh, in the settings menu and all that there are things so you have this uh, thing which you can customize from here you can have a column layout or the normal layout if you want to use that there are uh, customizations available for this one a little bit more so you do have that for all the advancements i have found that the battle life is a little bit better in the idle rain department and also active rain huh? i mean it's not very good uh, i'm still getting about 18 to 20 percentage of active rain which is not a great score but considering this is oreo and considering this is still a beta build it is still acceptable i am willing to run with that so that's something there if you're wondering what version this is it is the 29th october version which is the latest one which has been released 16.2 beta the last version i reviewed was the 16.1 version so yeah now as i've already said with all these advancements there are a few things which i have missed in this one um for some reason i am having a few issues with a certain applications like sync thing now sync thing is something which i use to sync my files with my computer and my nas it has been working till yesterday not working anymore today so i'm not really sure why that is i have tried reinstalling the applications i reinstalling everything i haven't flashed the rom again so i'm not going to try that out right now but it is something which you must keep in mind also shazam shazam is an, app an application which i use to discover songs that hasn't been working correctly uh, it is always showing no results available so that is another thing which i have been able to i have not been able to fix so there are a few things which is there but for my purposes as a daily driver i think these things especially the hardware button control just makes it really cool now one more thing which i really want is the clock button control because i want that on the left side that is just my uh preference and i really want that so yeah another thing so yeah hopefully you guys like the video please just subscribe and like the video if you want to useful see you guys next time